Welcome to Antarctica, the coldest place on Earth. In winter, it gets so cold here, everything freezes solid, including the ocean. This giant ice block is one of the harshest places to live on the planet, but it's home to the coolest contender in the countdown. Emperor penguins actually travel to Antarctica to breed in the middle of winter. They can slide more than 80 kilometers to their frozen breeding grounds. Here, the temperature is usually 40 degrees below zero. And to make things worse, it will be more than four months before the sun rises above the horizon again. Into this frozen darkness, the female produces an egg. If they leave it on the ground, it will freeze. So this extreme dad makes a nest from his feet. He balances this precious egg on top of his toes, barely moving for 65 long days. The females all left long ago so the males are left huddled together, waiting for the end of the worst winter on the planet. When the sun finally returns, there are new arrivals in the colony. But there's a problem. How do you feed a hungry chick when the fridge is empty and you haven't eaten for four months? The emperor penguin is number two in the countdown because he can feed his baby with a special stomach secretion that looks a little like milk. It's a nice trick, but could human fathers also produce milk for their babies? Men have the necessary equipment to make milk. Most scientists think that nipples are just one of those sexually neutral pieces of equipment that humans get regardless of sex like arms or brains. Men's nipples are fully functional, but their development is usually completely suppressed by male hormones. But throughout history, there have been stories of men producing breast milk, enough even to raise a baby. Having just had a baby, freelance writer Laura Shanley and her partner David decided to test the theory with surprising results. David decided that uh, he wanted to see if he could produce milk simply through suggestion. So he began saying belief suggestions that he would produce milk. And within a week, one breast swelled up and uh, milk began dripping out. I looked at his, his breast and it was, uh, one breast was bigger than the other and I saw the milk dripping out. It is happening out there. It's just that most men are, are too ashamed to admit it. But emperor penguins aren't ashamed. These extreme dads know that a little mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation is necessary when you nest so far from food. Even so, it's a vast relief when, after two months away, the females return with stomachs full of fish. But big bellies and small babies make completing the transfer difficult. This is one time when you don't want to stand on your partner's toes. Emperor penguin chicks are lucky they have a father that takes child care in his stride. But even the coolest dad can't compete with the animal that's number one in the countdown. We've seen the nine contenders. They're the best of the best. 
Only one animal is a more extreme fathering machine. It's number one, and it's coming up next on the most extreme. Welcome to Miami. This is one place where you can find the most extreme dad in the countdown. In these waters, there are males that make the ultimate sacrifice in the name of fatherhood. For here, your mother is also your father. The number one. Most extreme dad in the countdown is... The seahorse. Male seahorses are extremely romantic. When they're in the mood for love, they'll dance for three days. And it's all for a good reason. Dancing gives these guys a huge pot belly. And that's a real turn on for female seahorses. Dancing close to his massive stomach, it takes only seconds for the female to lay hundreds of eggs inside the male. The seahorse is the number one most extreme dad in the countdown because it's the male that gets pregnant. That massive stomach is actually a brood pouch. The walls of his belly provide nourishment for the developing eggs inside him. Unfortunately, Human males don't have the necessary equipment to get pregnant. But that doesn't stop some from trying. I'm going to have a baby whether you like it or not. I didn't know that, Smith. I'm going to have a baby too. You, Mr. Williams? Well, why, if you can have one, I suppose I can. In 1996, British journalist Adrian Gaddon became a human seahorse. To experience what his pregnant partner was going through, he simulated all the symptoms of pregnancy. He drank salt water to suffer from morning sickness. He wore a false belly weighing 10 kilograms and strapped on weights to his ankles. A constant diet of high fiber foods generated a steady supply of internal gas. And he even suffered tenderness of the chest region by applying clothespins to his nipples. Guys, don't try this at home. After nine months of this regime, most men would have a healthy respect for those with a bun in the oven. So spare a thought for the male seahorse. He can have a thousand buns in his swollen oven. And it's four long weeks before his contractions begin. Then this extraordinary dad gives birth. baby seahorses have a truly unique father. No other dad goes to such extraordinary lengths to look after his babies. So it's no wonder that when it comes to fatherhood, the seahorse really is the most extreme. <laughs>